welcome to vlog number three. It's day three in our Wubs in Italy adventure. It's now after a day of conference yesterday. Oh, we have a photo bomber here. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to Verona. We're off to Verona with the gang. Say hi, gang. We're waiting for Jurgen, who's running after the bus. <laughs> So we're going to vlog about our tour of Verona with the rest of the Aerocom gang. Here we are in Verona, bus stop. We're going there. Take a photo. Always important to take a photo of your bus. So when you're lost, you know the plate number. They're Lina from Malaysia. Hello. <laughs> Yes. We're in Verona, Italy. They're assembling us in three groups. <laughs> My good friend from Thailand, Mr. Wow. Sun. That's a video. It's a video. Yes. <laughs> wow. It is the English group. English, <laughs> but unfortunately, they don't have Thai. <laughs> oh, nor, nor Filipino. <laughs> we, we have to buy another tour. Look at that. In Europe, we so love the old castles, the old ruins. The step, that's the no, cobblestone. Is this cobblestone? The brick. So, buongiorno. Buongiorno. I try to do my best to get a great group. My name is Aurora. And we are going to have this walking tour in the old town. You will not be alone because we have a lot of tourists coming here. We have a beautiful day today. So not only tourists, but also the Veronese coming out uh, to drink a glass of wine because it's too late for uh, coffee now. Eh? The place here where we met, that's a beautiful medieval castle. You know, in Italy, we didn't have kings and princes. In the time we had powerful families, maybe you know the Medici in Florence. In Verona we had this Caligari family. And these families lived in palaces. So when you hear the word castello, it has nothing to do with the castles that are in Germany, in France, or in Great Britain. When you say castello, we mean fortress. <laughs> now our tour is ahead of us. Because of photos, we always lag behind. as possible about the town. I don't know if you have ever been here in Italy or in Verona. Verona is the second largest town of the region. And this region is called Veneto. That's the region where Venice is. I told you about this mix of periods. Here you have the Roman time. This was a kind of triumph arch built by the Romans in the first century after Christ. And then the river goes directly to Venice. So in the time, it was a very important water street. You could go by boat from the mountains to Venice. Are you ready to go on? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter. <laughs> hey Joe, say hi. From Japan, Malaysia, and Indonesia. Okay, hi. <laughs> hi. Nice. Look at 
that courtyard. <laughs> and most of them are monuments, are very old. An example you have here, this church called San Lorenzo is about 800 years old. We had all the, all the churches because most of them were built in the 9th century. All the churches are Catholic ones, old. Nobody goes to church but they are all Catholic churches, okay? And then we go on, and Diamo. And the so we're walking along this alley uh, where there are a lot of posh shops, boutiques. But look at the buildings, they, pres they were able to preserve the old structures, ancient Roman um, houses, historical houses. <laughs> Oh, they're in a fresco shops. And there's the usual uh, market. Yep. I can buy. <laughs> Seven times fifty three. That's the cost to pee. Forty, fifty. This was the old market square, and the market was under the lodge to protect food from the sun and from the rain. The tower was a kind of private tower, but that's not a church. The tower is called Lamberti Tower because the Lamberti were the owners. I wanted to show you the square, the main cemetery of the Scaligeri family, then we have Juliet's house, and then we go to the arena, because we enter also the amphitheater together. Juliet, she's there? <laughs> she's waiting for you. <laughs> and, the and, the and here we have all the palazzi Scaligeri, all together. Then, after this Scaligeri period, Verona became part of the Republic of Venice. Again, you see the lion put by the Venetian. In the middle of the square, you see the statue of Dante Alighieri. Dante was the first Italian writer, because for a long time, language was Latin. He started writing Italian in the 14th century, so we say that the Italian literature started with him. He wrote Inferno, the Divine Comedy. In Italy, you have two possibilities, Garibaldi or Vittorio Emanuele. Vittorio Emanuele was the first king of Italy. Garibaldi was the soldier. And the two together made the unity of Italy. We're going to Juliet's house. Congested entrance to Juliet's courtyard. <laughs> Hello, Sanjay. <laughs> There's a balcony. Where's my Juliet? There you go. That's the famous balcony. It's not true. <laughs> Juliet looks different today. <laughs> we just learned today that Juliet's story is not is a, is a real story. 
and it was adapted by William Shakespeare without him ever visiting here. So they had to create a balcony just for the tourists because the original house did not have a balcony. So they said you have, you can, you sh there's a certain way to touch the statue of Juliet, and if you do it the right way, you'll be lucky in love forever. So I guess we don't need that because you're already lucky in love. <laughs> Made it a point to buy magnets as a souvenir per area. That's how these cost here. And what did we get? Romeo and Juliet. It's like a coliseum here in Verona. Square. Look at the sea of people there. again ending the tour here we just had a filling lunch and now we're heading back for the bus to prepare for the gala night beautiful back at our hotel after a tiring trip Now we got to dress up for a formal night um, as we go out for the gala night of the Era Kong conference. Time to dress up. Okay. Let's go. What about? So, so at the end of every Era Kong <laughs> session, we will have a gala night. So everyone comes in their best attire and we came in matchy matchy colors. So, let's have dinner. Look quite a sight, everyone in suits walking towards our eating place. No buses today. Coastal life here at Lake, Lake Guard. It's now 7 p.m. Off to dinner. What do you know? 
We won. We won an award. Best um, in sales for the Far East. Wow. The hotel, the town of Lazize, is still alive at this time. It's almost 11 p.m. We left the gang as they were singing and dancing. We're gonna walk back to the hotel. Beautiful town of Lazize. On our way back, there's a gelateria. Yep. So here are the gum walking with the gumboas back to the hotel. <laughs> Wonderful dinner.